That should be good. All right, all right, we are ready to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening with Mio X Fu. And now, last time, whoa, hello, we started expl- well, not last time, that was two episodes ago that we started exploring Turtle Rock. And, uh, well, we've made quite a bit of progress, and oh my god, I just noticed it actually looks like a turtle. Don't know why that's so surprising. Most Zelda games do this. Eh. <laughs> um, yeah, again, I don't know why I'm surprised. Not totally surprised, but... I just didn't take my time to look earlier. Alright, so, again... As per usual, uh, I'm at a loss because I didn't think <laughs> I didn't think to uh, just memorize what I had done last session. So we're gonna have a bit of fumbling around here while I try to remember what goes on. Aha! Oh shit! Okay, I was thinking that would work, and I'm glad it did. So, no, no, no! Did we get the item for this dungeon yet? No, I don't think we have. Oh well, whatever. I'm sure it'll be something exciting. Oh yes, I think it's gonna be like the fire rod or whatever. Oh, hello. Come on, come on. Did, what? I don't... What's the point of this? Uh, do I have to light all... Whoa, jeez. Do I have to light all four of them at once or something, or...? Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? Just need to not do that. <laughs> But yes, last time we made uh, quite a bit of progress, actually, I think, on this uh, very last dungeon of the game. Oh, we can go through here, too. I must have seen... Uh, were there cracks on the other side? And there weren't with the first one. Maybe... Oh, I would not have been able to get over here anyway. <laughs> okay. So we can go up here. And, oh, I can hook shot down here, okay. So where's this gonna bring me, though? Well, we're out of keys, so... It's kind of, uh... Here's hoping we don't need more. No, well, pff, well, if I don't just kill myself, I was gonna say, now this is an interesting thing. I've not seen something like this before. Oh. Anyway. I was going to say... Do I just jump on it? Should probably do that first. There we go. So this doesn't happen. <laughs> I need to time how I'm doing this. Not just willy nil. Um, not just go at it willy nilly. Of course I'm gonna do that anyway. Reckless to the end. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hello. Oh, never mind. They don't go all the way down. Oh goodness! I thought that was gonna crush me. <laughs> okay, so uh. Hmm. Ah. Ooh. I gotta flip a switch. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the wrong game. This is not Oracle of Season. Ooh. Okay. Wait a minute. Come on. He's just... Oh, jeez. He's hitting hard. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's not fair. Oh god, that's not fair. Also, shoot, I am so low on health right now. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's just, uh... Mm, one second, I'm gonna check this direction. I'm gonna kill myself in the lava. <laughs> Okay, there were... Good, there were hearts. Um, Things were as I remember them. But I also want to check the walls. 
Just in case. Aha! Trixie, Trixie, Trixie. Oh! I guess I had to find this anyway. That's, uh... It's not a very cool game. So is that how I am going to, uh... Be able to get that chest now? Maybe. See if we can actually get back there with uh, not too much of a problem. All right, so this is a bit of a uh, tricky dungeon, going back to uh, Legend of Zelda 1 sort of tricks with bombable walls that you need to just know are there. At least we've got a map. Yeah, so we can just go left. And can we? Wait a minute. Maybe not. Seem to... No, that's right, we can't go left. Okay. <laughs> Seem to be remember something blocking my path. Could it be molten lava? Nah. I bet it's just... Oh, well. ow. <laughs> Could it be something that's absolutely deadly to the touch? Well, there's nothing here, at least, it doesn't seem. I don't really understand the point of these, if they're just, uh... Are they just there to make it look... Uh, well, harder to see? Maybe. <laughs> so can I... No, because there's nothing to grab onto. Come on. Um... Hmm. No, I'm just thinking to myself. It's like, ooh... There we go. It's probably the trickiest underground bit that I've done so far. Well, it's a good thing, too. I mean, it's the last dungeon. So, should be difficult. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, we can't do anything down there, but good thing we did that. All right, let's... Hmm. I'm going to try these. No, that doesn't work. Okay, let's try bombs. Then. Whoa, hello. No, that didn't work either. Arrows. That did nothing. Okay, wait a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's still... Oh, God damn it! That still did nothing. Well, at least we know where we can heal up. Damn, what's this guy's name? It's Bruno, I think. If I remember correctly from Oracle of Seasons. God damn it, Bruno. You're in my way. I have a, an island to save. I have a land to get back to. I have a greedy compulsion to fulfill. How dare you stand in my way. I'm going to save this land, even if it means I have to destroy it. <laughs> This was the, uh... This game was made by the, uh... The American wing of Nintendo of Japan. <laughs> they had been watching a few too many Vietnam War movies. Really gung-ho about everything. Anyhow. Can I... Hmm. I mean, I've only really got the shield left. Okay, last try for now. If this doesn't work, then uh, I guess we've got to get an item first. Well, I'm assuming... I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming he's guarding the chest that holds the item. I might be wrong, but... I, I, I haven't seen another way to get to the other foot of the turtle. 
Uh, I just realized we're in the tor turtle's corpse. All right, shield time. Let's hope this works, and if not, I guess we'll have to use a shovel. I'm hoping his haymaker does... It bounces off the shield or something. Because, uh, yeah, in Oracle of Seasons, you'd have, uh... No, that doesn't work. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can get whatever item we're going to be getting from this dungeon, then. Because I honestly... Let's see what... what uh, can we get that chest right now? I don't know, but the quickest way would probably be go back the way we were going. At least it didn't bring us down to, like, nothing for health at this time. Thank God I didn't have to use the potion. I'm probably going to need that on the boss, too. But the way they've been going lately. They start out hard. They start out really hard because it's a Moldorm. And oh, like that Moldorm from uh, Link to the Past is one of the hardest bosses already. Like, he doesn't damage you much, but it's just so hard. Yes, yes, yes. It has many cracks. There must be some way to shatter it. Um... He's not that hard, it's just that uh, he takes a while, because he keeps knocking you off and knocking you off, and just gets uh, aggravating out of after a time. But he's a fun boss. Same with the uh, Moldorm boss from the first dungeon. He was pretty fun. Uh, did I check you? If the statue looks strange, shoot it with the bow. Ah, yes, we did that. Anywho. Uh, we did not check this again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we do need the item. Again, that's why I think it's the fire staff. We're going to need whatever item we're getting in order to do that room. I'm assuming that's going to give us key of some sort. Oh, I really wish there was a way to check... Which way the staircase has brought you. That's probably the most irritating part of this game. <laughs> uh, I know we went through here for before. I'm trying to remember... Where this brought us. That's right. Okay, that's right. I forgot about that. Hmm. This is tough. Okay, so staircase. We haven't found the butt with the way to the boss's room, have we? Unless there's just a bombable wall in the next room over. I never checked that. Let's check that, shall we? Oh, come on, that didn't kill him? I hit him with a charged up. There we go, jeez. I hit him with a charged up piece of power shot. Ugh. Okay. Can I do this? Wait a minute. No. <laughs> that would have been a bit too easy. Shoot, that stinks. Hmm. It's not like we have the small keys for it anyway. How do we... Oh, I really wish it showed stairs or something, or just how the passageway is connected. Time to scour this dungeon for any hints at all. Now let's go back to the bottom left. We haven't done that in a while. We haven't been down there since the uh, very beginning. Maybe we'll have some more insight now. Maybe. Well, not really. 
So we know how to do this. What? Oh, I hit left. <laughs> it's not even like I have to do the full puzzle. <sighs> I'm just being impatient now, come on. Come on. There we go. Just wait for it to finish, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, might as well get this while we're here. Might as well get this while we're here. There we go. <laughs> while we're here. Did we... Yeah, we beat this guy. I like how I'm not even using the sword anymore, because it's like, oh, it's not really that good against these guys. You can kill him so easily with the hook shot. I'm just trying to imagine it being this overpowered in uh, the N64 games. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Well, let's try the other foot. Maybe there will be some, I don't know. Hmm. I forgot that you were here. I'm like, why is it going into... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it sounded like an Atari game starting up or something. <laughs> forgot he does his little roar thing. Well, there was much of a roar, but... Pff, whatever. I'm saying that a lot. Pff, whatever. <laughs> uh, ooh. I know there are stairs here as well. Maybe? I don't remember... What's at the end of this? Well, we'll find out in a second if I'm not an idiot. Oh. <laughs> if I'm not an idiot. <laughs> uh... Oh, we're on the other foot. Oh, I need the power bracelet, don't I? Power. There we go. Oh, you again. I'm just annoyed because I can't kill you with the uh, hook shot. You're like the one mini... Well, there's the bomb one as well. Oh, Still pretty easy to kill. Don't you give me two fairies as well? Yep. <laughs> so I'll have to remember if I ever really need... Fill all the holes with rock that rolls. This is the key. Yes, we did it. We did that already. Where do you lead? Oh. <laughs> Thought I had rock's feather equipped. Okay, oh... I was hoping I could just kind of cheat. <laughs> and just swing us to the other side. Uh, we can't even do anything in here. Alright, there's one more staircase that I know of. All the way over here. And then I'm stuck. I have no idea how to proceed. Let's try, shall we? Oh, that's right. I need something to melt you. God damn it. I didn't try bombs. Let's try bombs. No, bombs did not work. Let's try arrows. Arrows did not work. Let's try charging into it. That did not work. Yes, I know it's very cold. I need to find a way to get through it. Because I need... What's on the other side? Hmm. Nothing. 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 There's another place where those ice blocks showed up. 
where? Where was it? There must be one more staircase then that I'm forgetting about. Yes, right here. And I couldn't make it through here either. Okay, so... As far as I can fathom, I have pretty thoroughly explored this dungeon. I have exhausted any logical course of action that I can think of. Which of course means, now it's time to cheat. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So. Turns out, we were right. We have to go defeat, uh, what did I call him, uh, Bruno? His name is Blano. I seem to remember him being called Bruno or something in Oracle of Seasons. But anyway, it's too bad we don't have Ricky's, or we don't have the, pun the punching ring <laughs> this time around, because instead we have to use our own wits, I guess. Also, I forgot about those stairs. God damn it. Um. Yeah, he's got, he's got the thing we need in the chest behind him. So I gotta figure out how to fight him. I thought I had exhausted all possible ways of fighting him, but apparently not. So. Guess I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try using the sword just because mm, either the sword or the hook shot. That was a good. God damn it. I'm going to I'm going to kill myself before I even get to him. Won't that be uh, something to behold? Mm, every time it makes me so uncomfortable that we're just going to dip into the lava just that little amount. Oh, and of course, those are down. Uh, whatever, we can go back anyway. Assuming I just got to time it or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Ah, jeez. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, whatever. We get to go back anyway. So I'll go fix that uh, switch problem, and then we'll try again. I hate that it's just a one-hit kill, pretty much. And as far as I can tell, like... You either gotta get it... Or... you're out. That's it. Like, there's no leeway at all, which is terrible. That he can bring down your health so quickly otherwise, too. Jeez. All right. Round four. <laughs> Rebel four. Fight. Well, once we get there, of course. Oh man, it's it's gonna take so long to get there each time as well. That's that's also the worst part. It's like you know, you put a one-hit kill in. Uh, why is it so hard to get back to him? Come on. It's like, I don't even have time to, like, try different strategies, because I'm just trying to survive every single time. 
so I don't have to go through this mess. I really hope it doesn't reset the, uh, the blocks when I get punched back either. Hopefully not. That seemed a little too mean. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Punch attack. <laughs> Look at that, that's ridiculous. What? Ah! <sighs> it's. <sighs> sometimes he charges up, sometimes he goes right for it. Good luck figuring him out, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The hell is this guy? That's why I thought I needed the whatever we're gonna get for an item. I'm assuming it's a fire rod or something, because that's it's a staple weapon. But ah, jeez. Also, the lamps, or not lamps, but the the unlit torches. I mean, I guess it could be a slingshot shooter or whatever. But I'm not expecting it to be. Usually that's the first weapon. <laughs> that is, if there's ranged at all. Like, I'm a bit surprised Ooh! how long it took. <sighs> Get out of here. You know what? Shield, let's push him back. I don't want to be... Uh, what the... Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm going to cut to a successful attempt. I didn't think I'd have to resort to this with this game. But seems I'm not good enough at Zelda that I gotta do this. So, see you guys in a minute when I fucking kick this guy's ass. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Canceling the LP. Can't get past the... one of the last mini-bosses. <laughs> I mean, come on. The bosses in this game are a joke. The mini-bosses are where it's at. Watch, I'm gonna get it this time as well, and it's like, I'm not even gonna cut. Because it'd just be a waste of your time and mine. Even though this fucking boss is a waste of your time and mine. I should be able to jump to that. Come on, come on. Jump to that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Crap. You son of a bitch. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Not this time. I was able to damage him. Oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. Good damn it. Wait, I can... So if I just move out of the way, I can still damn it. Because he can go only, he can only go straight. That makes this fight ridiculously easy. Look at this. 
What? Look at this. I can. What? Oh. Oh my god. I. Oh god. Thank god. Oh my god. If it. If I had to go back and. Um. Oh my. You've got the magic rod. Now you can burn things. Burn it. Burn, baby. Burn. <laughs> I am so annoyed right now. Oh, I can't believe that I just had to move to the side. Actually, I can't believe that. Anyway, oh, this is even this isn't even the right way. Come on, get it together, get it together, get it together. I can't even go back. Uh, I can't even go back. Can I? Wait, wait. No, I can't even go back. That sucks. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I guess my dodging skills have in- well, pff, never mind. I was gonna say, I guess my dodging skills have increased a thousandfold from that- that experience I gained- gained from that fight. That invaluable experience that I gained from Blano, who was just trying to teach me. How to dodge the best I ever could. No, it was just I, I was lucky. <laughs> oh god damn it! What's the, the worst part is the noise. He just. <laughs> I don't want to fight more mini bosses. I just want to use the magic rod. Don't you understand that? Don't you get it? Alright. 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 Not this way. Alright. Alright. Backtrack. Uh... That was it. Yeah. That's right, I remember things. It was a good idea to reset the mini bosses when you go into the. Who thought it was a good idea to put the underground bits and the above ground bits as different things, as though you were leaving the dungeon when you went to the underground bits? Whoever did that, you have my severe disapproval for this kind of thing. Because it just makes things harder for the rest of us. Yes, it does. I bet you thought you were being clever. Put a little bit of... I don't know, challenge in the game. Well, you guessed wrong. You just made yourself... A game that's kind of annoying at some points, absolutely infuriating at one point or another. I don't even care. God damn it. 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 I could have just gone that way. Here. There's one here. We're doing that one. We're gonna melt this motherfucking ice into motherfucking slush. Ready? Ready? Take. <laughs> oh, this game... It's, it makes upgrades feel so nice! That's right. That's right. I can't even get through this door. Because you know what? I don't have a key. God... Uh.
At least I know where the key is. Snake, take that. Take that, you thing. Give me a key. Yes, I got a small key. Good enough. Let's go. I'm gonna just wreck you, mini boss. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I wonder if I could use it on the, the ball throwing guy. That'd be very nice. Ooh, that would be very, very nice. It'd also be nice if we could actually hit those things. Uh... Alright. Everything will die. Everything will die. <laughs> Oh. Don't I have to put bombs in front of you or something? No? Oh no, I've got to be behind you. And then I've got to hit you with the sword. Can I just... No? Okay. Um... This is not working how I thought it would work. Whoops. No, I can't use that. Can I use the hook shot? Can I jump over you? I can. Well, I can't use the hook shot. Guess sword it is then. <laughs> you guys are laughably easy now. Are you mid-boss or an actual boss? I don't even remember. Whatever. Ooh, this one's gonna be difficult. Nope. Hmm. Maybe this way. Well, no, I screwed it up, but I think I got it. Just a little touchy. Come on. Oh, come on! I had that. You gotta, like, spam the button before it hits the side. Nope. See what I mean? A little too touchy. If I hold it oh no, if I hold it down, I'll be good. Mmm, come on. Why did that... Is there a time limit? There we go. Whew. Boss key. Now we gotta find where that staircase is to get to the boss room. You know what? We'll do that next time on Let's Blindly Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening with Mio Fu as I jump into a bowl of molten lava. Magma. Lava. Lava is when it hits air, isn't it? I should know this. I watched. I watched a Magic School Bus episode about this once back in the day. I should know this. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening with Mio X Fu. Yeah. Alright, see you guys next time. And we will take on the boss of the final dungeon, go wake the windfish, and we'll be done with this game. So. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be that easy. I'm sure it won't be that easy either. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. 
I'm an idiot. Oh no, I remember where the other ice, pa uh, ice prism is, actually. So let's do that real quick first. I just want to get to the boss room, and then we'll all be on our merry way. Let's get that flute out of our hand, because otherwise we're going right back to the beginning of the level. Oh, it's a puzzle. I love puzzles. That's why I played this game, don't you know? Ooh. This is a tough puzzle, actually. One second. How do I... Only way I can think of doing it is kind of cheating. So let's see. I I would consider this cheating. So, oh, just time it a little a uh, little earlier. Little earlier. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like that. I don't know. I would consider that cheating, but. I don't think many people would agree. You know, a lot of people would just be like, no, that's what you gotta do. Uh, ooh, this is tough. Okay. Because I can't just go through, because... I can't just go through, because I'll melt the ice on the other side. Which means I gotta go down. I can't go through here, because... Okay, I can melt this entire part right here. I think I can melt this too. Probably not. <laughs> that was probably stupid. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, it's cold. Oh no. Okay, so I can get over there. Problem is I can't get up here. There we go. I think I figured it out. Maybe. Maybe not. No, I figured it out. Okay, that works. <laughs> Guess we don't have to melt these after all. <laughs> um, wow, that was weird. I can't really go through my mental process either. Um, yeah, let's, whatever. Let's fight the boss. <sighs> Crackle, whoosh, you're finished. I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens. <laughs> well, you look like you're having a good time. Uh. Oh, I guess that's it. Uh. Why does the magic rod hurt him? Oh, we gotta use the magic rod to actually hurt him. Is this really all the fight is? Wait a minute. This better not be just the entire fight. That's super anticlimactic. Oh! I was gonna say, that's super anticlimactic if it is. C crackle 
Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the windfish. Remember, you, too, are in the dream. Oh, I'm really sorry, man. I would hate it if I had a face that looked like barbed wire, too. But I gotta wake that windfish, because I gotta get out of this dream. There we go. A rumpa pum pum. Got the drum. We've got the thunder drum. Yeah, there's that beat I was talking about. It was only missing one thing. So, we have all eight instruments. We have the ocarina that we need. Egg. The egg on the mountain calls. And I think we're ready to wake the windfish. Um... Time to go to town, uh, maybe say my goodbyes, explain why I have to, well, destroy everybody's lives and themselves. And yeah, wake the windfish. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play The Legend of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, with Mio X Fu. Um. We're short a heart piece. I still don't know how to get it. I want to find out, is there a way to uh, get another suit? We've got 16 secret seashells out of, I'm guessing, 20. So next episode is actually going to be... It's not going to be straight to the windfish. It's going to be getting everything we might have missed up to this point. So it might take a little longer to get there. Um, just because I'm trying not to spoil myself, and but I want to get everything I can before we can't go back. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Like I said. And we will go and uh, escape this dream, escape this nightmare, awaken. <laughs> First, let's see what else is left. Bring, bring. Hello, this is Alrira speaking. Alex, it's time for you to face the egg on Mount Tamaranch. Be careful, Alex. Bye. Click. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? Alright, everybody. Bye now.